So hello and uh, welcome to another review. I'm out in my van and it's dark and it's winter so there's not a lot of light going on. Mm. Excuse me while I drink my coffee. There's not a lot of light going on so I rely more on uh, individual lights. I've got a light up here as you can see there's a light up here which is battery powered. Um, I don't rely too much on the um, van power my van power is at 12.7 at the moment which i can see down on the floor down there and i've also got um, a power point on here which is saying it's 12.8 but i don't rely solely on the van power for the uh, actual uh, generation of what i use and charge when i'm out and about in the van in the winter what I do rely on are the power banks. And this is a review about the power bank by Power Oak. So I've got it in front of me. This is our Power Oak power bank. Uh, this is a 300 watt power bank, as you can see there. It's got a 12 volt DC cigar socket, cigarette socket or lighter socket, whatever you want to call it, 10 amp output. It's also got a DC output, 13 volt, 3 amp, 13 volt, 3 amp. These are both pin ones. I don't actually know what you use those for. If anyone can tell me what you can charge out of these, I'd love to know um, because I've got nothing that fits inside them. You've also got on here, as you can see, you've got two AC outputs. Uh, these are 220 to 240 volt, uh, 300 watt. Uh, so you've got two sockets on the front there and I'll explain what they're for as well. You've also got a massive big set of uh, USBs. You've got four USB banks, uh, five volt, three amps. So they're good enough to charge my Samsung phone because the Samsung phone is extremely hard to charge. Um, you've also got a power display, you've got AC and DC buttons, you've got a power on button. Uh, but not only that, this thing has got a little secret treat on the top there, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you can see there it's a, a power bank, uh, a power oak, and uh, yeah, it's a nice little blue color. You can also get these in orange. Um, it's very nice and swish. There's a vent on the side. This is a vent for running the AC because you've got the inverter in there. So this is what vents out the uh, air when it's running that. It does make a little bit of noise when it's running, um, but it's not too bad. But if you power it up, this is where it becomes extremely sexy looking. It's got a beautiful, beautiful display. I'm not gonna kid, um, I love this display compared to some of the other power banks, which are just basic like the old Nokia 6410 sort of thing. This has got a really fancy swish power bank. It's on 60% at the moment because I've had it charging my laptop, which is sitting there. As you can see, my laptop's out and I'm gonna show you what it does. Um, yeah, so when you're running this and you wanna charge a device, for instance, let's say I've got a USB socket and I wanna plug it in and charge a USB socket. I'll plug it in there, plug this in the back of like my Osmo so I can keep my Osmo running. Let's just have a look over here. Let's see if I can stand my camera down. So, excuse the lights, but I can plug this in the back of my little Osmo while I'm recording. There it goes. So I'm powering that. But before it switches on, you have to turn the power on. This is where it becomes quite good. You turn your DC power on. Oh, power on, because it turned it off. Hit your DC power. Green light comes on. It now starts charging. You can see on there that we are charging at 7.7 .7 watts or 7 watts. It's quite low. Uh, so that is now linked up to my Osmo and it's charging my Osmo. Okay, that's one thing. So secondly, I might want to charge my phone. My phone's here. I've got a Samsung S21. This is my phone. DC's already on. And you can see it actually powers up. It worked time, that fine that time. Again, if I take it off, put it on the top, you can see it powers up and starts to charge the phone. So I've now got a phone on charge. I've now got my... Uh, you can switch it on as well see what power it's coming out now it's coming out at 16 17 18 watts because i'm powering my phone and i'm also powering uh, my osmo right so i might need to charge something else up what else have we got we can charge up i can find another device i'll tell you what laptop my laptop's here at the moment it's uh down the bottom at let's have a look at the power output power it actually says it's on 99 percent power output but i want to charge it up so what do i do I get my charger cable, I plug my charger cable in the side of my laptop, like so, and then I take the plug socket when I can find it, 
Okay, and I take my plug socket and I plug it in to my power hook. And what I do then is I hit my AC, press and hold, AC comes on, power hook switches on, and away it goes. We are now charging, and if I go down to the charging port at the bottom of the screen, you can see it says 99% plugged in. Okay, so we are now running a power oak. It's on zero because it's on 99%, but if this needed any more power, if I run this laptop down any lower, then we get the extra power coming in through this. So I'm now charging my laptop, I'm charging my power oak, and I'm also charging my Osmo. What's next, we say, what's next? Well, I did try to charge my fridge. Um, I actually clicked my fridge on and it came up with an error. I'm sure it was error 23. Now, I'm gonna contact Power Oak and ask them why, because my fridge isn't a massively overpowered one, but I used the socket on the front, the 10 amp socket, and maybe that plug socket hasn't got quite enough power to run my fridge, um, but they do different size power outputs. This is a 300 watt. I know they do a 1200 or something. They do some big different size power, power batteries. Um, so they're pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm quite impressed. Another feature with this is, and if I can show you on the back here, Another feature with this is it has a button on the back here and it's got a built-in light, not just a little spotlight. This has got a massive built-in light, two different power outputs. And if you were outside and you had a panic on, you could actually switch this on to flash. So this would actually flash all night if it needed to, okay? That is like a, a, a safety thing to keep flashing all night. Um, maybe a put broken down or something like that. You could maybe get a red gel and put over that. Over Wouldn't it be good if someone actually sent a red gel with it as well? You know, that'd be actually quite a good idea. Um, but yeah, really, really good. Really, really pleased with this. I've got some specs. I've got some specs for you. So I'm gonna stop the uh, Osmo. The Osmo's there. You see it's all doing what it's doing. So I'm gonna turn my little Osmo off and I'm gonna speak to you now purely on my um, that's not the Osmo, is it? That's the GoPro. I'm turning the GoPro off and I'm speaking to you on the Osmo. That'd be better. Right, I've actually got some specs here for you. Uh, I'm going to have to lift my glasses up so I can see. Uh, we've got a price of £499.99. Uh, there is a reduction at the moment at £479.99. This video is going out on today's date, which is the 6th of the 11th. This is when this is recorded. 6th of the 11th, 2001. Uh, so this is a Bluetti AC50S UK version, which means it's got a UK plug. They also do an, uh, a US version, and it's got a US plugs on the front. This is a 500 watt hours, 300 watt portable power station. No gas, no fumes, no noise. A little bit of noise when the inverter's running. Um, a clearer way, safer and quieter alternative to gasoline backup generators. Now I've got to agree, this is definitely definitely the way forward. This is uh, electronic battery power. Like I say, I'm in a van at the moment and I've got limited amount of solar panel. This is brilliant. Now these come with a solar panel as well. You can actually buy solar panels to go with these and charge them up when you've got sunshine. Um, I think Power Oak, I think they are gonna send me a solar panel. So when they do, I will bring it back on and I will show you the solar panel um, working and how it works. Uh, regulated 12 volt DC output, run a 12 volt appliance without reduction. Uh, so we have three charging methods, solar panel, AC wall, it comes with an AC wall socket. I'll show you that as well. So it comes with this AC wall socket, like so. So you basically plug this in the wall, plug that in the back of the uh, power oak, and then you've got your three prong socket or you would get a American US socket if you're in America. Uh, we've also got, um, what have we got? We've got a car charger, comes with a car charger. Again, this is the same thing, plugs in the back, plug this in your 12 volt car charger. While you're driving around in the van, in the car and stuff like that, it will actually charge. You get a USB-C cable, USB to USB-C. Uh, it has actually got a USB-C output, a uh, PD 45 watt. This is really good for charging my, my phone because it's a very, very powerful output. So if you need to charge something by USB-C, you get a cable with it as well. Uh, it also comes with this. This is a solar attachment. So you plug this in the back of the panel and you can plug in a standard solar panel. These look like standard sockets, which I've got the sockets on my roof. Well, I had to have, they've been cut off um, to wire them into the van, but they come with a standard plug socket. So that's another really good way. So you can charge it with solar, but like I say, I will, will bring on the proper Power Oak solar panel once I actually get around to seeing one. 
Um, like I said, we've got the USB-C, AC and DC. Uh, we've got MPPT built in. Um, not quite sure what MPPT is. Description, let me know. Um, remind me on, because I'm not very good. Intelligent cooling system, so it basically cools itself down as it's working, as it's running. See, I've had this on all afternoon and I've not noticed any noise coming out of it. Um, if you do get a little bit of noise from the inverter, it's gonna be really, really silent. It's not, there's not a lot of noise at all out of it. Uh, ultra safe lithium battery, LED plus SOS function. So that's your SOS flashing on the back of the light, which is dit, 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 da, 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 um, if you're into Morse. What else can we got give you on here? We've got mobile phone, 10 watt hours, 45 cycles. You can charge a phone 45 times. That's not bad going, is it really? 45 times. Uh, a drone, you can charge a drone seven times. Pretty impressive. I've got my drone batteries, I can plug that in. Camera, camera cycles, 23 cycles. Laptop, seven hours. Uh, mini cooler, 60 watts, seven hours. Now I'm gonna plug my cooler in again and I'm gonna try it again because there must be a reason why it's not charging. Maybe if I plug it straight into the USB instead of into the AC, into the uh, DC output. But I did get an error. I, I must check up on this and why. Um, projectors you can charge, Bluetooth speakers, lights. It would work a lamp, a 10 watt lamp for 29 hours. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Um, what else can I tell you about it? Not a lot. There's the solar panel. Uh, like I say, the solar panel, I will show you one as and when if I ever get one. Uh, they're like an SP120 watt uh, at 300 pound they are. So it's quite a dear do, but once you bought it, you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's there for life, really. It's, it really is a good system. So yeah, that's my power oak. It's got two handles on the top, so you can pick it up and carry it. Um, they fold flat, so there's nothing in the top. It just folds nice and flat. Yeah, it works really, really well. Very happy with it, very pleased. Thank you to Power Hoke um, for sending it to me and uh, look forward to doing another one or seeing another one, something bigger, more power, something a little bit more strength that you can actually run a van on permanently. This would be great for a part-time thing um, just to get me through like, you know, the odd one or two nights. But if I wanted to run my whole van on it, I'd need something a bit bigger. Um, so yeah, I know they make them, I'd love to see one. Really, really good. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on playing on my laptop now. I've got some photos to edit, a little bit of video to put together. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, drop us a comment. I'd love to hear your comments about these sort of power banks. Uh, do you wanna see more of these and stuff like that? I do normal videos on a Wednesday and a Sunday. I'm a landscape photographer and that's what I concentrate on. Wednesday and Sunday is a landscape photography. I do the odd Friday review and this is a Friday review for Power Oak. Thanks again, Power Oak, for sending this to me. Love it, really pretty, nice colors, ever so nice display, spot on. See you next time. Ciao.